What's up, my fellow Kingdom Ambassadors? What's good? What's popping? What's going on? In between, underneath, above, and all that good stuff. How you feeling? How you kicking? How you breathing? The moral of the story is pooch out, pooch out, lay sweet baby. How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I am the car owner, executively owned by God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Just the vessel that they use to get their point across. Yeah. Um, if my face is new to you, what's up, Pooh? My name is Beautifully Yasmin. I am a child of God. I am a daughter of God. I am an auntie, a godmother, a sister, a daughter, a cousin, a niece. I'm all at a bag of chips, okay? Yeah, <laughs> I'm the main course. I'm the good thing. You know, the Bible says, a man that findeth the right, findeth the good thing. I'm the good thing, all right? All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, I thought I should do a, like a cute little life update <laughs> with y'all. Halo. Enough. Calm down. A cute little uh, life update with y'all while I prepare my fruits for the week. Because y'all got to catch y'all up with how we even got on the fruits of the week. All right. So without further let's get right into this video. Without further ado. If my face is new to you, what's up, Pooh? Go ahead and leave me down one yellow heart if you want to be a part of the Kingdom Ambassador Tribe. Before you do that... First, leave one yellow heart, okay, in the comments so I can let you know, that, so I can leave you another yellow heart to let you know that I love you and God love you and now you know it. Now, after you do that, to be a part of the Kingdom Ambassador Tribe, the first and foremost thing is you have to be a part of the Kingdom of God in general. So, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, all you simply have to do is Jesus Christ it says, Jesus Christ, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died on the cross for me and I surrender my life to you. Now, that is, you have to say that out loud as a verbal announcement to the, to, 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 to the kingdom of the devil to let them know you no longer belong to them. Now, in order for that to be all in all, so you can be under the new covenant, which is the blood of Jesus, baby, you got to stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> Gotta have to stop having sex. <laughs> gotta stop uh masturbating. Gotta stop smoking. Gotta stop drinking. Got you like you gotta turn away from your old life in order for that to be effective. Because if you just said it and then you still going about your regular day, it's it's null and void. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I don't know what they told you, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. <laughs> you gotta turn away from your old life. Yeah, you gotta you gotta turn away from sin. Run away from it immediately. All right. Okay. So if you do that, then boo, what's up? What's up? What's happening? What's up, sis? What's up, bro? We family now. We kidding now. Okay. Now, if my face is is not new to you and you already true to the channel and not new to the channel, go ahead and leave me down two yellow hearts so that I know that you are true to the channel. Now, new to the channel, I can walk you back with two yellow hearts. So that one, I love you. And the second one, God loves you. And you already know it, poo, because you know the truth. Okay. All right. And that's for the listener to do it. Boom, pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom, pa, 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 boom. Oh, I know I've been changed. 
ASAP for that. Especially for the fall time, because we definitely want the gypsy. No, I've been changed. Cause the angels in heaven done shine my name. You know that I are, I are, stop it in. No, I've been changed. Oh, I, I, no, I've been changed. I know I've been changed Cause the angels in heaven done signed my name Follow me down to that Jordan stream Woo! The angels in Heaven done. I don't know who all supposed to eat this. But baby, I'm just a girl. This is I'm just a girl. This is a lot. Woo! Woo! That almost took a towel, eh? Yeah. All right. Okay. See, I said no seed, baby. I definitely did say no seed, baby. But it's my fault. Because I told you, baby, one thing. I can't even blame you. Can't even blame you. Lord, that better be sweet too. Follow me down. All right, all right, y'all. Now let we 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 over there. We I can't even talk, babes. <laughs> oh, can we talk, please? Can we talk for a minute? No, we can't. Sorry, no, we can't. Go talk to Jesus. Don't talk to me. Anyway. What y'all? Oh, you can't even see my face because you're seeing what I'm doing. Hard minute. Okay. Now you can see my face and what I'm doing. Um, uh, why am I? Why, I don't know why I'm so lit. Anyway, um, not lit, but like why I'm so like energized like that. <sighs> oh Lord, this is I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. Ooh, ooh. Mm -mm. See. I'm not a big fan of watermelon, but the last time I got it, I didn't really eat it. So I was like, let me try it again. I'm not a watermelon girl. And it, it, it takes all of this work just to eat some watermelon, baby. At least. Mm -mm. <sighs> but y'all, let me catch y'all up on what's been going on since I've been on my little hiatus. First of all, let me be great. Okay, let me be great. First of all, um, I went. I actually went on my first forty day fast um, while I was on my hiatus, and that was the first fast that I actually ever completed, like fully. Um, it was so good, like so so good. Which hence why I'm eating a lot of fruits because my fast was um, fruits and water only. And when I tell you. Cause I um it also reset my taste buds so where like I don't eat meat anymore. Cause as y'all know, I have been trying to get back to not eat meat for a very long time since I fell off the last time I did it. So God removed that taste bud out of my mouth when I went on my forty days and forty night fast with the Lord, and I found my love for fruits. And I tell you, my love for fruits, baby, I found my love for fruits. Okay? I was literally craving fruit so bad that I had to order me some fruits today. Like, yeah. It's like that now. Um, I prefer to eat fruits than to eat, like, candy and stuff. And, like, the snacks that I used to eat before I went on my fast, I can't even, like, eat them like that anymore. So, thank the Lord for that. For that deliverance. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've just really been just, um, in my word a lot more lately. Um, getting to know God a lot more lately. And that fast, when I tell you that fast did wonders for my life. Now that fast caused me to start waking up early, even though in the last week or so, I kind of like fell back into waking up late because my sleeping schedule, which starting to work on that. 
okay, how do they do this on like social media and whatnot? Because my goodness, this is horrible. <sighs> yeah. Um. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is giving <laughs> World War One. What is happening? Please, please, don't do this. I'm just a girl. I am just a girl. Okay? Come on. Oh, Jesus. Hold on one second, y'all. Give me a sec. I'll be right back. Let me try to figure this out. Ugh. All right. Uh-uh. I don't know what to do. That's not bad. That's big, though. All right, so I'm back. Um, I'm sitting down now, whatever. Um, let me turn my lights on. Maybe that will be better. Okay. All right, so yeah, I'm back. So let me finish catching y'all up. So basically what I was saying was um, that when I was gone for that, like, I think it was like six months, I was gone because I have not lived, I, I did not record for y'all until some of the recent, some of the videos that you even seen was like recorded a long time ago. Um, except for my most recent video that I just did was the one about prophetic warning from God. Um, that was the most recent video I have just, I, I've done. I've attempted to do videos, um, in those six months. Did it come out? No. <laughs> did I continue it? No. <laughs> Woo! It stopped at the intro. But, okay. So what's been going on since you last saw me, um, December, I went on a hiatus because I felt like I needed to get to know God for myself. I needed to, like, I want to know what God like. I want to know his character. I want to know God for myself. And then, um, so that's, that's, that's what prompted the, the hiatus. And I also had got a dog. Um, now I'm a, I'm a, I'm a doggy mom of two. And I had to like get acclimated with that, even though y'all, it's my fault. Like, it's my fault. I've I've yet to like, I've yet to put Halo on a routine. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, it, it, okay, I, it's something I'm still working on. I promise you, it's not even him. Had I like buckled down when he first got when I first got him and like woke up and take him out he will be definitely trained by now because he's he he went to training classes and he's trained like to sit calm and all of that he does it when he wants to like at this point i just well just like halo like i mean just like angel i, I she knows how i do it she does it when she wants to when they do it don't do it oh well they're their own little human they're they're their own little creatures so like i feel like training your dog is cool and all but like i don't want them to be robotic and i i, I just it's fine i know that he knows it and they're not really bad dolls or anything like that. So, you know. Anyway. So, um, yeah. So, February, you saw me. Um, well, you saw you saw it now. When I went and... By the time this video comes out, you're going to see it. When I went to go get Halo, that was that. Um, and then I got into, like, this... Um, I got into reading the, the, the book in the Bible called Exodus. Um, I think, like probably like in February, March, I think probably like in March, I got into that. And then I started the 40 day, 40, 40, 40 days, 40 night fast with the Lord. And after that fast, it got me into another fast. And I, like, it's just been like, a, yeah, that one got me into another fast. And um, I was simultaneously doing like three facets at one time. At some point, it was like two facets, and it was like it started off with like one fast, and it led into two fasts, and then it was three fasts at one time, and then it became one fast again because the other ones ended up ending the dates before, you know. But those fasts helped me realize I can do all things, and I really mean I can do all things. Like, um, I need to learn to discipline that's what i'm working on now is having a routine that's really why halo is not trained is because i don't have a routine um i'm not good at like waking up dumb early and i need to have a routine wake up like 6 a.m 
take him out, be consistent about it. Like, it's different. I do it here and there, but it's, it's different when you're consistent because then I know that he will grasp it really quickly if I do it that way because Halo is really smart, and he's about to be one, so I need to definitely, like, do that before he turns one because that's when the, the, the little terrible twos and all of that, I ain't got time for that. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to work on starting tomorrow, and I keep saying that, but I'm starting tomorrow, bro. We're going to start waking up really early. And I want to be that virtuous woman type of woman. That that proverbs woman. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, so, during the fast, God God has been talking to me about eating. Um, eating clean and, and stop eating meat for a while now. And I will stop and then I'll go back to it. Or I'll be like, oh, I don't eat meat in my own house. But, like, when I go outside the house, I'll still eat meat. You know? And the fast, I, one of my prayers during my fast was for God to take the taste of meat out of my mouth and for me not to even know what it tastes like. And God did that. So my promise to myself and to God is that I'm not going to go back to it. I'm not going to go back to what he delivered me from. So when I came when I came off my fast, even like the Cheetos that I used to eat, like the Cheeto puff, it didn't taste right to me. Even Oreos, are, like I can't, I don't snack like I used to snack, I was never a snacker, but like the things that I would binge eat, um, I really don't do that anymore. Um, I'm just trying to be more clean. I don't really have any juice in my house. Majority of the time, I things I have are fruits in my house as of lately, and only water. Or I will add like some lemon and some apple cider vinegar to my water, and that's like, you know, as of lately. And I don't plan on changing that because I just don't care for um, the juices and all of the sweet stuff. What is that? Oh, that's a shadow. The juices. Sorry, I went on a walk <laughs> with my dog. So, like, I'm a little ring of night. A little ring of night. And then I came and, like, started preparing my fruits and stuff. So, yeah. Um, that has been the, the that, that has been what I've been on. I've been praying to God, talking to God more. I don't really, like um go to other people anymore like I used to like um before as soon as something happens I'll call my mother and be like mama da -da. what are you doing sit down sit sit not you angel you already laid down halo sit good boy you see how long it took him to do what I'm saying? Ciao. Anyway. Let my... <sighs> Y'all see them how they just like all up in my bed? My ease. I can't do nothing in this house. Literally, early I was eating or something. And they just ate. I was sitting here eating. And she like, the same way she was just staring at me. I'm like... Can I help you? Like, carry on, child. But yeah, so anyway, so that's what I was saying. So God has delivered me. And God has delivered me from a lot of things. And I feel like it's, it deserves a video of its own and how God delivered me and how God is helping me maintain that. Um, and the things that I have learned through my fast, I will definitely talk about it. And I will definitely... Um, explain it and also bring the scriptures too to because okay when i tell you i've been in my word baby i've been in my word i've been i just i just this is the most i've been at peace for a very long time um ever since like i for real for real turned away from my sins and like for real for real wanted like started living a life of righteousness and holiness i really have always been in a lot and i've been in not always but for a very long time I, i've been living a life of peace and contentment and joy and and just like like god is really taking care of me i'm not gonna lie to you like people may not understand how god is taking care of me because he's not a physical but god is really taking care of me he makes sure that i have my 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 uh, i can't i can't talk jesus my checks he made sure my checks meet everything that i need to pay for like i've there was a time in my life where i was struggling to keep my light on not like like 
I was struggling to keep my light on, but not like in the necessity of like um, my lights have ever been off. I've never had that situation since I've lived on my own. Um, my lights have never been off. Um, I've never been without food. I've never. Yeah, God has. He has. There was a time where like, you know, I would pay my rent, my my what you call my light every week because. I just needed to and I didn't have it like that, you know? And now I'm able to pay it whenever before it's due, whenever it's due. Um, when I first moved to this apartment, I would pay my I mean, I could still do that now, but like I choose not to. I would pay my rent like before it's even due. And I've even made videos about that, like how I'm so blessed to even be able to do that. And even with uh my rent did rise, and it didn't even. I just realized my rent went up because I renewed my list, my lease, and it didn't even phase me none. I just realized it doing an interview. Thank God for that. Um, my rent went up this month, and I didn't even. I still paid it like I normally would. Didn't even realize it just just now. Um, but yeah, God has been good to me. He has like I don't worry. I don't have. I don't. I'm not anxious anymore. I don't have anxiety anymore. I don't. Um, I still have like running thoughts at night, but that's something that like I have to deal with with God, and it's something that I know I know what I need to do. But yeah, yeah, God has really been good to me. He has really, 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 really been good to me. My home has come a long way. I still have a few things I need to get, like pictures on my wall, but I'm gonna do that in due time. Um, I am what else? What else happened? That's pretty much all. I just really been I've been on hiatus because I've been in tune with God. And I know many people may not watch my videos, but it's okay because during my fasting I have realized I don't I don't care for the money. I don't care for the fame. I've seen how fame has turned people and I've seen how people who are hungry for fame and how it has like the they have sold their souls to the devil. And that's not something I want. I want my the channel my channel to be solely for God and God alone and I want him to be glorified. And even if it's just two people that watch it, as long as like his he is glorified through me for those two people, it's fine because I know that I know my Redeemer lives. I know who provides for me. I know who makes way for me. I know that at the end of the day, I've been doing YouTube for how many years now? And if it was whenever it's God's timing, it will happen. And if it does not happen where I blow up or whatever, that's cool. I'm going to still keep doing it to bring the glory of God up on this platform the way he wants me to do it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, that's been pretty much all. Like I have been just zoned in on God. I have Find, learned a lot about myself through God. I have learned a lot about God. Like I've learned that his favorite color is gold. <laughs> so I gotta stop doing that because that's not of God. Stop sticking my tongue out. Um, his favorite color is gold. Something about gold that may love him some gold. Okay, gold, 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 gold. I mean, he likes purple and blue and bronze too, but like gold, top tier, top tier for him. Like gold is everywhere. Okay, and um, yeah, I've learned to like fall in love with reading. Like I've always read my word. I mean, because I've always told my mom this bounce and she understood what I meant. Like I, I I was I was a church I was a, I grew up in church, read my word and all of that stuff. But like, it never have come alive to me the way it came alive to me during my fasting. Like I fell in love with the word. Like I can spend a very long time reading the word, and like I'm actually like a note taker now. I have highlighters. I'm in the process of actually ordering me a new Bible, a new King James Bible that's a bigger print because the one that I have, um. <sighs> Someone gave it to me and they already like highlighted and stuff like that. And I don't really like I'll keep it because they gave it to me. But like I don't really want to use because I want to be able to do my own highlights and stuff. And then the other Bible that I have that it is large print is um, a new message Bible. And I don't and I've learned that in other Bibles, certain scriptures have been removed. So I'm just going to go to the original. And for some reason before. The King James Bible used to like be so gibberish to me. I could not understand it for somebody who like. I used to read um, Macbeth and all of that stuff. I don't know why I could not understand that. 
so now that I'm reading it again, um, it's so like plain and clear to me. Like I understand it. I get revelation. Like I get what I'm reading. Um, I even like look up words and look at, look up the concordance in the blue letter Bible. And like, it's, it's like the word of God is so much deeper than just the English word. Like certain words mean so much. So certain words that we think we know the understanding of in our physical and our physical being means something completely different in the spiritual realm. And like, sometimes I'll read something and God will make certain words stand out to me and I have to like, look up those words and find out what's going on. But yeah. So yeah, that's, that's just been pretty much all it's been just in my word, praying a lot, fasting a lot, um, cleaning up my, the, the way I eat. Um, God has delivered me from perverted thoughts I used to think that it was cute to like have like perverted thoughts and like oh da 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 da, but now I don't really. Mm -mm. Yeah, God is delivering me from that, um, and also I am working on just getting back on my fitness and like not to lose weight or anything like that because that's not the goal for me anymore. I mean, I would love my stomach to be smaller, but I'm not really doing it to lose weight. I just want to be healthy and just be a health a healthy temple for the Lord because in the Bible, I forgot where it was, but it says in all things, everything that you do, let it bring glory to your name. Let it bring glory to God. Even in your eating, let it bring glory to your God, glory to God. So I feel like in all things, I need to bring glory to God. So in all things, I need to be healthy in my body. Not that I'm, ob I'm not obese or I'm not fat or anything, but I feel like I need to be more, intentional about my health more intentional about things that i put in my mouth more intentional about um what i'm eating how i'm eating it more intentional about when i'm eating it just more intentional about like moving my body daily and not being um not really lazy but like not not allowing my feelings to dictate what i need to do you know what i'm saying because your heart is deceitful and your heart will lie to you so I think that has been that has been if I'm being honest that has been my my struggle lately is that a baby I will be in sleep and my, my alarm will ring and I'll be like child we're gonna do it tomorrow because babes but I need to get out the habit of that because if I wake up and go do it I will be up because like one thing about um the gym is it always wakes me up so yeah we're going to and I want you all to follow along with me as. I am on this new journey, so I'm a, I'm gonna try to do a weekly vlog of me and my routine. That's gonna be repetitive. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's gonna be repetitive because we're gonna do the same thing daily. Cause that's uh, I I don't really do much. I'm really like I, I like but the comfort of my own home. I go out here and there. Yeah, I go out here and there, and I do things like monthly, but like. Ain't nobody really out there like that, okay? So, I'm going to get my little vlogging vlogs. And they're going to be about the same thing. But I hope that it blesses somebody. And I just want to just... I just want God to use me. And I want to be a positive addition to this platform. And I just want to keep... um Keep God first in everything I do. And that... It shows it shows in everything that I do and that he's glorified in everything that I do. So yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm done rambling and talking to y'all. Cause I love y'all. I mean it. I love you. You know it. And I did get my fruits cut up. I'm currently waiting. I have my um my dog's blueberries and my grapes um soaking in some apple cider vinegar water. And I'm about to go clean that out, put that up, go take a shower and like edit some edit um this video and another video that I have to get that out to y'all and I will start doing my weekly vlog starting tonight to do my intro tonight and then get into it tomorrow so yeah now y'all will never see like me at work because like I mean I work from home you could but I just don't want what I do to be known so you will see around my day minus work you know but yeah but yeah, I love you, I mean it, I love you, know it, I love you, I mean it, I love you, know it. And with that, y'all, say bye, Angel. Come here.
Give me a stinker winker. Come here, my stinker winker. Ah. 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 You want to say bye, Halo? All right, come on. Come on, Halo. He is so big, y'all. He is so, so big. Come here, baby. Good boy. You peed and you peed in your crate. Yay. Look at him. He is so big. Y'all see him? Y'all see my son? Y'all see my son? Y'all. You see my son? Y'all. Ah, say hey, baby. Look. It. Say hey. He's so cute. But yeah, he is growing so big. Like, I remember when I first got him and like... I can barely hold him with like one hand. My goodness. Look at him. Look at my baby. Look at my baby. Look at my baby. My baby. Yep. Now, I love y'all. I mean, I love you. No, I love y'all. I mean, I love you. Know it. And with that, and with that, and with that, we out. Later. All right. All right, say bye, Halo Angel. Come on. Bye.